now we are going to solve these two problems which says that two forces p and q are applied as shown to an aircraft connection knowing that the connection is in equilibrium and that p equals to 500 pound and q equals to 650 pound determine the magnitudes of the forces exerted on the rods a and b so in this problem we are given the magnitude of p and q and similarly the same problem is repeated but in the second problem we are given the values of fa and fb and we are required to determine the magnitudes of p and q and here we are required to determine the magnitude of the forces exerted on the rods a and b so here we have this aircraft connection and we have uh, four number of forces this fb is acting on this rod and this fa is acting on this particular rod and we have p and q forces now let's say that this particular point is let's say point o so here i have drawn the free body diagram this is our free body diagram let's say so this is our point o so since this connection is in equilibrium the sum the sum of all the components in the x must be equals to zero and the sum of all the components in the y must be equals to zero since the resultant is equal to zero so now before going to start the solution i am going to define our coordinate system so towards the right is our positive x and in the upward direction is our positive y so so this is our coordinate system which is represented by these orange arrows so this is plus y so this is plus x and this is plus y now we have to resolve this fa into its component so this fa will have one component in this direction towards the left in the negative x and it will have one component in the positive y direction so let me represent those components so we will have one component like this so as we can see that um, this component is adjacent to the angle so this is the cost component so we can say that uh, the x component of fa is this one is fa cos of 50 degree and similarly the other component is opposite to the angle so that is the sine component so we can say that this is fa sine of 50 degrees similarly we need to resolve this uh, q force as well so it will have two components it will have one component in the negative y and it will have one component in the positive x so let, let's represent its components as well so we will have one component in the negative y and one component in the positive x so the y component um, this y component is the cos component since it is adjacent to the angle so we will write that this is um, q cos of 40 degrees and similarly this component will be q sine of 40 degrees and this fb is in the positive x and p is in the negative y so so they are horizontal and vertical respectively there is no need to resolve these forces into components so now we can write that um, the sum of all the components in the x must be equals to zero so now we have um, this fb so we will write plus fb then we have uh, this fa cos of 50 this is in the negative x so we, so we will subtract it so we will write minus fa cos of 50 and then we have this q sine of 40 it is in the positive x so we will write uh, plus q sine of 40 and this must be equals to 0 since the the connection is in equilibrium now in the first problem we are given the values of p and q so now in this equation we are give, given the q value and we are required to find fb and fa so let me simplify this this will be fb cos of 50 is 0 0.643 this is 0 0.643 fa and sine of 40 is 0 0.643 as well so this is plus 0 0.643 q and this is equal to 0 similar let's say this is our equation one and then we will sum up all the y components 
that must be equals to zero as well to where in the upward direction is our positive y and towards the right is our positive x so now as we can see that we have uh, this f e uh, sine of 50 component this is in the positive direction so i will write plus f a sine of 50 and then we have uh, this p force in the negative uh, y so this is minus p and then we have this uh, q cos of 40 in the negative y so minus q cos of 40 so this must be equals to zero now this is our equation two now in problem 255 we are given the values of p and q now if we look into this equation we are given the value of p and q for the first problem so if we substitute those values we will be able to find f a so let's uh, write f a in terms of p and q so this is the solution to 255 so from equation 2 we can write that f a sine of 50 is equals to p plus q cos of 40 now dividing both sides of equation we can write that f a is equal to p plus q cos of 40 divided by sine of 50 now we know p and q value for problem 255 so p value is 500 pounds and q is 650 cos of 40 divided by sine of 50 so this gives us f a value equals to 1303 pounds approximately and similarly if we look into the equation number one so equation number one now we know the value of q this is given and we we found this value so we will substitute that and we will be able to find fb using equation one so from equation one we can write that fb will be equal to 0 0.643 fa minus 0 0.643 q so bringing this to the other side of the equation, it will become negative, uh, positive, and this will become negative. So we will have the equation like this, and from this we can write that F B is zero point six four three. If we take zero point six four three common, so we will have F A minus Q, and we will have zero point six four three. Now F A is thirteen hundred and three from here minus q q value is given which is 650 so this is 650 so 0 0.643 into 1303 minus 650 this gives us the fb value equals to 420 pounds approximately so this is the solution of problem two, 255. Now a problem 256, the FA and FB values are given. So FA is uh, 750 and FB value is uh, 400 pounds. Now again we have those two equations, equation 1 and 2. Now in this equation 1, if we are given f a and f b so from this equation we can find q value if we substitute that and once we find q value then we can substitute that uh, q value here and f a value here that will give us the value of p so i'm not going to find that uh, f a and f b value you people need to find in those values yourself and then write your answer in the comments so I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston.